promotional consideration paid for by the following. UFC 146 is officially in the books. Wayne Shotter here for IronForgesIron.com along with Lord J M M A underscored all day. Chuck, what's up, Chuck? And a good friend and the good friends of the vlog. <laughs> Rob, friends of Mike Myers. So this should be highly entertaining. <laughs> also a fellow YouTuber, and you guys have this Twitter, so if you're not familiar with Rob's vlogs, which you should be, um, feel free to hit him up and, and ask him to plug his stuff. Um, and we'll plug that out. Don't listen. It's propaganda. I am nothing special. He's nothing it's propaganda. special. Do not listen. This will be the worst vlog in history, there I it assure is. you. There it is. It's true. Let's, before we begin, two things I want to mention. Number one, Pro Wrestling Syndicate tomorrow, June 1st and 2nd. They're having a fifth anniversary show. You guys should definitely check it out if you're in the Northeast area. I think it's $30 for the weekend, and the Great Moon is going to be there. Vader, Kai, it's a, it's a whole international affair. I mean, the amount of guys that are on the show, off the top of my head, that's what I have. Uh, Matt Hardy, um, there's, a, there's a ton of people, hopefully... The uh, we're getting having a couple of um, technical difficulties. Hopefully Chuck will be on, but I have Rob here. So uh, there, there he is. So yeah, nonetheless, uh, we we definitely a show you guys should definitely check out. Uh, number two, I and you guys, I don't know if you're gonna agree with me on this. Don't know if you heard, Rich Franklin is now substituting for. Vitor Belfort at UFC 147. So we're going to see the rematch of Rich Franklin versus Vanderlei Silva, my favorite fighter, uh, at UFC 147 in Brazil, I believe it is. Chuck, can you? That's a that's a. Yeah, I I believe it is. Yeah. The, um, I don't even know. It's 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 such a shitty fucking card. This card isn't even like. <laughs> FX worthy, dude. Yeah, for real. All right, but yeah, for them to try and pass this off as a pay per view with we're Doom versus Russo as a co-main, get the fuck out of here. All right, but shit. I gotta ask you a question though. Are you upset about the main event? Not at all. All right. You know why? Because I'm I'm the biggest Juan fan, and I don't want to see him get knocked out by Vitor Belfort. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. I don't want to see it. Yo, you know I don't want to see it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? It's I, sad, dude. I, like, I just don't want to see it, mm. you know? And, like, that's like a – I'm the biggest fucking Juan fan, like, the biggest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got an action figure in the closet. Uh, <laughs> it's a 75% chance, probably more, that he's getting slept in that Vitor Belfort fight. Yeah, I think, I think this fight is a little bit more – it's a little bit more evenly matched. Uh, I know a lot of people on Twitter were complaining about it, and I'm just saying, did you guys not watch the first fight, Rob? You saw the first fight, right? Are you are you upset about this main event? Well, I quite liked the uh, UFC '99 match. Ah, oh, Rob's having difficulties as well. Forgive us, guys. I know it's a lot <laughs> when, when sometimes the international feeds. Rob, could you repeat what you said there before? It was good. I believe this one will be worse, but still tolerable. Yeah, highly. That's basically my insight on it. The only the advantage of not having Vitor Belfort in there against Vandalay is that the fight might last longer and Vandalay might not die. But other than that, <laughs> I mean, aesthetically, I'm sure it'll be nice for the casual fans. But for me personally, as a main event for, the... for a numbered pay per view card, it needs to be. It needs to be... Yeah, it's not aesthetically pleasing to me either. I can't fuck with it. On paper, in real life, it's just... It's not good. I'm just happy to see Juan It's a mediocre... It is a mediocre co-main event, is what it is. It's a mediocre co-main event, (laughs) even for a fucking UK card. And we get the shittest deals on UFC cards. You know about it, dude. You You guys get the worst. I know. I can't be That's straight up fact. You get shafted by Zufa all the time. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and you got no fighters. <laughs> I mean, you know? Look at us. We're America. Are we, we getting, are we getting into this? Are we getting into this? Are we getting into no, this? We, we will. You, we will. 
I'm I'm really trolling attempts. I fifty years. You don't even put the fuck it in. Get it out of it. Nah. We're a bit behind on the MMA, but if you want to pop yeah. usual, I'm game. I'm fucking game. There it is. Um, so let's start. I heard about like 30% of what you said. No, no I, I kind of, I heard some <laughs> That's of That's fine. That's fine. It just means, all it means is that I'm urgent because you don't give a coherent response. <laughs> hey, I would, and I'm fine with that. I would trade it. I would trade it for, for a mediocre uh, national soccer team in America, bro. And any second. Any second. Wow, really? I would. <laughs> we will agree to disagree on that all right, so let's let's get let's get into this. Let's get into this. UFC 146, first fight, Levar Johnson in in for Mark Hunt versus Stefan Shroof. What'd you think of the fight? Very short lived. What'd you think, Chuck? Me, Rob, Rob, him, Rob. Him, me. You, Rob. What'd you me? think? Ladies first, Rob. Go yeah. ahead. What did what did what did <laughs> I think? Fight. Yes. Yeah. Not a lot. The what did I think of the actual contest? Because I don't really consider it a fight. Um, I pretty much, if you go back and watch my UFC predictions, I said Stefan Struve would pull guard and submit him. Over to you, <laughs> Chuck. Just playing. He's he's just playing jujitsu. Simple as that. Yeah, uh, Levar took it too, man. Pretty quickly. I mean, I, I give him credit for that. He got in. He got in. He was supposed to get in close and brawl. Um, but he just gave a little bit too much space, backed up, and Stefan uh, pulled guard, and that was it. It was all over. Um, so there's not much to talk about there. Uh, it is what it is. Next fight. <laughs> let's go. Let's do this. Uh, all right. Stipe Miosic versus Shane Del Rosario. I predicted Shane Del Rosario to win this fight. <laughs> I, I'm big on Shane Del Rosario. And he, for the first round, and I'd say a quarter of the second round, I was looking pretty good. Shane was really beating him. Um, a lot of kicks. Those body kicks. Yeah, man. Those body kicks were brutal. Body kicks were fucking brutal. Um, nonetheless, <laughs> Stipe, Stipe kind of stuck in there. And definitely hung in there and wins by ground to pound in the second round. Uh, I take it to you, Rob. I'm kind of upset about this personally. Like Shane, met him a couple of times. Really good guy. Uh, but that has nothing to do with the fact that, I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I thought Shane kind of gassed a little bit. If that was the reason why he kind of had nothing for him on the ground, I kind of feel like uh, like it's kind of unbelievable that, I mean, the minute that Shane went – was back was on the uh, on the mat that uh, Stipe just kind of he went I think he went to full mount right away right Chuck I believe so yeah I mean it, it was just like he just controlled him he was just he just controlled him it was like it was like you got a you got a K one fighter on his back yeah man and he just doesn't know anything and I kind of find I, I kind of find it hard to believe that Shane didn't train you know any jujitsu or any like defense on yeah. the mat so um not, so i i, I want to say that i think shay kind of gassed a little bit but uh I, I don't know what happened but the minute his back hit the mat uh he looked lost lost uh rob what did you think of the fight man i blame myself and absolutely else for getting it wrong and i'll tell you why i forgot just bother going around Searching some footage. Previous fights actually looking good. And then I went and watched his fight with LeVar Johnson. LeVar Johnson took him down. And that's when I knew I was in trouble by picking Shane Del Rosario to beat Steve Amiosic because Miosic is a fucking good wrestler. I'll give him that much. He's got a level. He's fast paced, cardio, good shin good endurance, and an amateur boxing background. And first, made the wrong pick, and uh, I don't expect anyone to feel sorry for me. Yeah, it is what it is. I can't, honestly, I, I can't remember who I picked. You, ha you had I, Stipe. I think you had chance. Stipe. How very convenient that you have just gotten. 
Okay, that was only because he's Croatian and I'm a Crow Cop, not Hugger. Basically. But, okay. Hey, what, it is what it is. I was kind of worried for him. I thought he was going to get TKO'd finished with the body kicks because they were, they were seeming to accumulate pretty fast. Uh, and there were pretty heavy fucking leg kicks. Those were some Daniel... I ain't gonna say it. Cause <laughs> it's, uh, it's blasphemy. <laughs> because that's nowhere... It's nowhere near Daniel Gia the leg kick. <laughs> I would have just got... Man. I would have just got clown there. I've, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, they're, they're like Ricardo Arona leg kicks. You know what I'm saying? They're heavy. They're great leg kicks. But... It did seem like he gassed out, and once he got him on his back, it was like Shane Carwin, Brock Lesnar, round two. You feel me? Yeah. It was no resistance, except for the submission and the whatever, you know. It is what it is, yeah. Or Stipe, Miosic. Mm. How did I say it? Did I say it right, Rob? Miosic? I believe that's correct, yeah. That's correct. I will uh, a Croatian consultant. But I believe that's correct. <laughs> there, I'm worldly now, guys. There it is. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> third fight of the night. Make excuses for Americans. <laughs> third fight of the night, Roy Nelson versus Dave Herman. Oh, man, this is kind of... That was a brutal knockout, man. It was just a haymaker. Nelson <clears throat> knocks him out. Again, not much to talk about in this fight. Similar to the... The LeVar Johnson st uh, stuff in shoe fight um, just ended real quickly. Royal Nelson knocks him out. Looks really good in it. I still don't know if Royal Nelson has the, the tools to to ever be a title contender. Uh, just I, I I don't think that'll ever happen. Uh, where where you know we'll take him seriously, but you know he he needed that win really badly and. He won in very dramatic fashion. Happy to see him fight. He always brings it. Nothing more to say about that. Rob? I'm going to counter wrap that question. What did you two think of the stoppage? Because when I was watching it live, over here in the UK, people were saying, that stoppage was too funny. I want to hear what you thought about it. I didn't think, I thought it was justified. Homie, like, when he got hit, when he got hit, he said... <laughs> and like he was, her whole, his whole fucking body got thrown by that punch. Like he was that gone. Impression is, that impression he is just okay. flailed I his enjoy, arms. I enjoyed like, that immensely. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it was better than that. It was a pretty, the only was a pretty accurate done description. Was than the only impression <laughs> I've ever done was better than that is when Rashad Evans got knocked out and he did like this. <laughs> That's the only impression I can do. You just did. Fair play. I'm a pretty. I'm a, I'm a multi-talented person. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know if that beats your Tito Ortiz punch to the ribs. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression <laughs> when he <laughs> when he did this. Go on, do yeah, it. yeah, do yeah. It. Do it. You know, I don't remember. Was well, he? I think it was. I'm familiar with it. <laughs> I, don't I don't even Wait, remember yeah. doing that. That's the one I think. I, I think for blown. I'm just guessing he was probably like <laughs> when Rashad hit him in the ribs. <laughs> I think that was from the fight when Rashad with the, with the knee. Like are it. you talking about? Are you talking about the knee where he was like on his back and he kind of didn't want to get up because he knew he was gonna eat the knee to the face? So Rashad was like, Ugh, knee to the stomach, and he was just like, <laughs> that's exactly what. <laughs> That's great, man. That's a, that's awesome. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I don't know. I've been doing appropriate impressions. Oh, <laughs> Definitely. Uh, getting hit sucks, man. I got kicked. I got getting, dude. I'm telling you, getting hit there sucks so bad. I got fucking kicked square, like in the solar plex in Muay Thai class, like fucking a week ago. Immediately, uh, fucking Gilbert Ivel was like, "You're gonna puke." And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I just ran to the fucking bathroom, dude. Okay. I was like, I couldn't even stop. I don't know. There's some resistance there, but that shit sucked. Yeah. We're going to pause this, hopefully. I'm uh, sure he'll be back. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, we're going to pause this, and hopefully we'll get back. Sorry for the little kind of interruption here. <laughs> Take a little break, and we'll be back. We're back from the break. Sorry, we might have that might happen again. A lot of technical difficulties, especially when we do vlogs with our friends from the <laughs> international areas. Uh, nonetheless, 
It's true. Uh, We're international, look, look at this, guys. Look at this. This, is, this proves it's international. The fucking sun is coming up in the UK. That's how international we're and getting And the sun it. is fucking down in Las Vegas. And there is no sun. That's commitment Plus to the game. And in New York, there is no sun. It's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty much midnight, so uh, it is what it is. <laughs> it's so interesting. Um, Co-main event, Cain Velasquez versus Antonio Silva. Great fight. Uh, although it was kind of real bloody, I gotta say something, and I, you know I, uh, I mentioned this on Twitter. I got it too, man. I got a yeah, lot. Yeah, um, I I like elbows. I I'd like to bend elbows on on the ground. I don't. I, I, maybe I'm one of those people. I like to I, I'd like to end elbows on the ground. Give me the knees, but even if I don't get the Jeez. knees, even if I don't get the knees to the ground. Get rid of the, the elbows to the ground because this fight could have been different. N not that I don't think that this, uh, you know, and so Bigfoot was going to lose eventually. I, I definitely thought Kane was going to knock him out. Um, it's just, I, I hate th those elbows, all they serve as a purpose when you're on the, on, on the ground is it, just. It's just too too dangerous. It's just too dangerous of a move as far as uh, hurting somebody, and and uh, as far as uh, cutting, because that's what it does. It cuts. Um, elbows are not as de uh, you know more lethal than than a punch. Um, it's just it, it's just stupid. Guys are getting injured, and I I, I read online actually yesterday that that cut because it was it was bloody man. That fight was bloody. Um, it was only three stitches. It was like I think over here, and uh, it, it was it was really interesting. I, I read online that uh, Bigfoot said it was uh, just three stitches, and that was it. It closed up the wound, and he's good to go. Um, it's a real shame because I thought it would have been more of a competitive fight, uh, but nonetheless, you know, uh, maybe it should have been. It should have been. I think it should have been stopped a little bit sooner, but you know, I think Josh Rosenthal was the the referee. And so sometimes, you know, Josh uh, kind of lets things fly for a little longer. Um, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, Rob, you want to mention anything? You still there, Rob? I'm still yeah. here. I'm still here in your loud Yeah, yeah. Uh, wh what did you think of the fight? Again, I just don't really know how you can call it a fight. I mean, that, the, the blood doesn't really get to me. I know it doesn't really get to a lot of people. I think if you're squeamish as an MMA fan, you should be watching golf or something along them lines. Maybe tennis. Tennis, if you enjoy the women grunts. I know I quite enjoy that personally. But the best. other than that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> something along them lines. But, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be as much blood. Um, but at the end of the day, the end result was pretty similar to what a lot of people expected. It just came sooner. It was big foot, curled up in a ball. Please stop hitting me. That's that's pretty much how it went, and that's pretty much what I think. Well, did anyone even see this getting out of the first round? No. 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 No, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Yeah. I feel like, uh, like Wayne said, elbows are bullshit, man. Elbows on the ground are for laying prayers who want to hold you down, keep you fucking, keep a close distance, and just grind on you with short elbows until they cut you. Hopefully... Uh, you know, some some can try and pro, uh, progress the pos position, and uh, but a lot of people are just comfortable in half guard, full guard, uh, laying on you, bumping you with short elbows, and that's fucking gay, man. Get rid of the elbows on the ground. Let's make these motherfuckers have to create some distance, throw punches on the ground, and let's add yellow cards, dude. And like, my whole thing is clean Bigfoot's fucking eyes up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be like in, like, I hate to like be a Japanophile, but you gotta be like in Japan, man. I don't like, <laughs> I'm not squeamish, but I don't wanna see all that fucking blood. Clean the motherfucker's eyes out so I can see an actual fucking fair fight. The motherfucker's on his back the whole time with fucking pools of blood in his eyes. You want, and you wonder why he's going like this? Mother I would be too, you know? I would've just, I would've, I, I don't know what I would've done in that situation, you know what I'm saying? And that's why elbows are fucking gay. Because they, they just ruin fights for me. That could, that could have seen a proper knockout, okay? Like a Cormier Bigfoot knockout. 
You feel me? We could have seen a real knockout. Instead, we get, like, some bullshit half ass TKO, which wasn't even really... He wasn't unconscious. He was just fucking like, oh, fuck it. I can't see. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm done. You know? Kind of kind of tap out, tap to strikes without having to tap the strikes by turning your back, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And kind of just turtling up. But it's like... Just get rid of them and add fucking yellow cards, man. Just, like, put Bushido back into the sport, for fuck's sakes. Simple as that. I'm done with it. There it is. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to add. We go down to the main event. This card, by the way, <laughs> this, this card went as quickly as this vlog is going because normally our vlogs are, like, 45 minutes. Um, but, yeah, man, this this card went fast, man. It was like a Strike Force card. You know how Strike Force cards end in, like, two hours? But normally, uh, this this was yeah. quick, man. Between the first fight, I mean, everything. You can go past the second round. I don't think, right? Am, am I right? I, I come to think about this, we didn't go past the second round of this, and this whole pay, um, as far as the the main event, the uh, so. the main card. Uh, we go down to the main event. This came as no surprise to me. That the ending. I gotta say this. No, not I gotta at all. say this. I don't think I get more pleasure in watching a man get beat <laughs> than Frank Mir. I think watching Frank Mir get pounded in the face is quite possibly one of the most entertaining things on television. Just his reaction to the punches, the fact that we know it's going to happen, and the fact that he deserves it <laughs> just because he's a douchebag. He deserves this so much. <laughs> that, I mean, I, again, <laughs> the hammer fist of death ends it <laughs> in the second round. <laughs> <laughs> the first round, I gotta love how he, he started <laughs> stumbling. Ah, oh, this, <laughs> just the yeah. thought of it alone. <laughs> Tip, typical. Have you seen the photoshops? <laughs> Have you been on Middle Easy recently and seen those photoshops of Frank Mir on the jet ski when he's falling <laughs> no. over? Have you seen that shit? That is no, fucking amazing. It is so good. Just go through like, the Middle Easy archives, like a, you'll find it. He's like mobbing on there's a jet ski. There's one of them where he's on a jet ski. Yeah, there's one of them where he's on a jet ski where he's doing um, he's doing Thriller by Michael Jackson like that. It's so good. It's so good. You've got to check it. MiddleEasy.com. Go there. That is where you will find there it. There it is. <laughs> I need to do that, and everyone else should. He says, uh, Chuck, uh, what'd you think, man? <laughs> what'd you think of that, <laughs> that fight? Uh, it, it went just like I thought it was going to go, you know what I'm saying? JDS by, by TKO KO. Uh, I missed out on a uh, signed JDS picture because I said TKO instead of KO. Fucking pretty bummed about that, <laughs> but... <laughs> Life goes on, I guess, you know? I'm sure I'll meet that motherfucker here sooner or later around Vegas and get a SIG. So, it was just, uh, it's just like the way we thought it was gonna go. Happy to see Frank Mir lose. Uh, the thing about Frank Mir, you gotta understand, is Frank Mir was a, the where he gets his, his pompous arrogance from, he used to be a, a, a bouncer at Spearmint Rhino Strip Club here in Vegas for the longest time before he was ever a fighter. So you can imagine him as a bouncer at a fucking strip club, acting like he acts. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just typical fucking douchebaggery. And, his uh, wife is... Was I his wife a stripper? That. I can't... Con- uh, quite possibly. I did not know that. No, no, I'm, I did not know quote, that. That, is, that, that is funny. She might have been. If that is the case, that is funny. Yeah. You didn't know he was a bouncer? I knew that he was a bouncer. Uh, yeah, well, well, I didn't know that, but... His, yeah, his, his, wife his wife being a female escort is funnier. That is much funnier. <laughs> There's a good chance. Yeah, completely a, good chance. a guess. Uh, but, completely uh, a guess. I'm, gl- I'm glad he got slept. I'm glad that JDS took it to the second round, too, and kind of toyed with mm. him. Good fight. Went just the way I thought it was going to yeah. happen. The what only thing I can get out of this fight is just really wanting to see Frank Mir on a jet ski. <laughs> That is all I want yeah. to see from this fight now. <laughs> I, just want, I just want Frank Mir to walk into his next fight and then just hear, boom, 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 just thriller, just start playing. Frank Mir comes in doing yeah. that. That's all I want to see from now on. It's just fucking great because he was—he just fell so slow on that first knockdown. It was, just, it was great. 
I love it. I just want to see it, it again. Oh, I, will, I will say to Dana White, if no one else is available, the heavyweight division all gets injured and everything, make the yeah. fight again. Because it makes JDS's record look good with Frank <laughs> Mir, TKO1, TKO2. And then yeah. we get to see Frank Mir do Thriller again, just slowly falling down. Um, awesome. Uh, I, I enjoyed it immensely. Anything else you guys want to add to that? I mean, it came as no surprise. Who do you think JDS should fight next? Chuck? Probably Kane. He's probably just going to knock out Kane again. Over over Cormier? <laughs> over Cormier? You, you'd rather see Kane over Cormier right now? I'd rather see Cormier fight JDS than Kane, because I think Cormier will beat him. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Listen, if Cormier gets a hold of that leg like Frank Mir did for a split second, JDS is going on his back. Yeah, as that. he's got the wrestling, man. If he gets the fucking single leg like, like Frank Mir had for a, an instant, he's going on his back. I don't give a fuck who you are, really, in the heavyweight division, except Fedor. Cormier's going to push him on his back. Rob, <laughs> who, do you, who do you want JDS to fight next? Who do I want well, yeah. over him, just above anyone? Yeah. Who do I think? Uh, anyone. Velasquez will get it. But Overeem yeah. should get it, but he um, apparently has an ass like a yeah. pincushion. But I, d I don't believe that. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that he might have fucked with his testosterone levels a bit. But you got to understand that 90% of the MMA community do not understand what the fuck testosterone levels mean. They just go, uh, "He said that might mean steroids." Therefore, I believe that yeah. guy. They just they yeah. just conform with all these notions that the media put out there. And uh, we get this fucking bitch in a moaning on forums like, Master Overeem's a steroid user. You can't fucking prove it. Casey Anthony, you couldn't prove that she killed her fucking kids. We cannot prove <laughs> Alistair Overeem used steroids, all right? So let's just clear that up right Simple now. Simple as that. But, it, but put it this way. If someone can eat a head kick from Bada Harry and not go unconscious, I pick that guy <laughs> to beat JDS. Yeah. yeah, true. I mean, he ate a full-blown shin to the oh. face from Bada Harry. He ate oh, a full-blown wow. shin to the face from Bada Harry. Yeah. That was like a... Uh, 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 that was like a four... That was more than just a shin to the face, though. There were a couple punches before that, if I recall, yeah. But mm -hmm. who do you... Th and people still talk about Oscar over his nice, shin being yeah. suspect. Rob, Rob, who do you think is going to get it, though? It's stupid. And people talk about how he doesn't have any... Yeah. Rob... Yeah, exactly. Who, who do you think he, he's going to fight next? Do you think it's going to be Kane? I, I just don't... I mean, you, you know how fucking smarmy and smug Dana gets where he just sort of goes, I like that fight. It's happening. That means it's happening. He, he, he said it yeah. about signing Hector Lombard. He said it about signing Fedor, but Fedor bitched him out and Dana White's been crying about it ever since, putting him down and shitting on his legacy. So we know how Dana yeah. White is. He's a, he's a little child. He's a little child who cannot grow any fucking hair and he's yeah, going to make it. I, I, I... The Overeem fight is what he should make. The Velasquez fight is what he will make. Yeah, I it. think um, we're going to see Kane and Dos Santos. Either way, um, if Overeem gets a fight before the year is over, Overeem's winning the title. No matter who they put in front of Overeem, he's winning the title. That's definitely going to happen. He'll be, he'll be any heavyweight in the yeah. division. Um, I don't think... More tools than Yeah, Jimmy's. man. More yeah. tools. Um, He's got so. 18 wins by submission. 18 fucking wins by submission. Yeah, you know, one of the, one you know of the things saying? that like, came out. And, 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 and we're talking about his yeah. stand-up, you know? People are, he's so highly towered with his stand-up, people don't realize that this motherfucker got 18 wins by mm -hmm. submission. I mean, under his belt. One of the things you know that saying? came out of this. He, he's a complete fighter. One of the things that came out of this was... Uh, for me personally, maybe I took out of it. I don't know if Dos Santos was actually giving a damn or respected Mir's uh, kicking abilities, but he left his leg out there to be kicked a million different times. If Overeem gets that opportunity, his leg's going to be gone in the middle of the first round. Um, and I think that Junior... Yeah. He won't have a leg to yeah, box I, I think, uh, I think, I think, I, I still think Overeem could catch him. I, I think over. I don't think Dos Santos is this. Uh, I agree. This uh, inhittable, unhittable uh, person that that everybody's talking about. Uh, nonetheless, he's a great champion. I'm happy he won. 
Uh, I like his story, his background. Um, he seems to be a real respectable guy, a real likable guy. Um, and I'm happy that he... I prefer him be champ than Kane or anybody else right now off the top of my head aside for, you know, Overeem. Nah. Yeah. Fedor, come yeah, on, Fedor's man. never, ever going to be the UFC. Fedor. Fedor is done. But you know Fedor would... But you know Fedor would two-piece JDS in the first round. Fuck him. It, it, yeah, if Fedor takes the fight seriously, I don't know what his mind frame is. Who knows? Fedor is doing what is it, Mercedes Benz commercials now, so I don't know what's. Because he's fucking lavish, he is bro. Lavish. Uh, he's class. He is, bro, he's pure class. There is no classier fighter than Fedor a millionaire. Come on, you. That commercial was, was brilliant. It was. I was a big fan yeah. of it. <laughs> he came from it. He looked like a G. Yeah. Look like a little handsome guy. The only thing yeah. I was upset he didn't wear this. What? But hey, but what? He yeah, the sweater? the sweater was an Audi. Are you talking about <laughs> the commercial? Yeah. But what? M well, what other MMA? What MMA fighters in America do you see doing fucking Mercedes Benz commercials? You know, Anderson Silva is doing fucking Whopper singing the Whoppers and shit. Burger King commercials in Brazil. <laughs> You know, he's not he's not doing Mercedes Benz commercials. That's how that's how important Fedor is to Russia. It is. You know what I'm saying? It is. He's like a cultural he icon. He is, he is, he is. War Fedor. Him. Uh I hope he becomes president of the fucking world one day. Just the whole yeah, world. The world would be a better place. <laughs> Just like the world would be a better It would. We'd all learn how to fight. We'd all be training in Sambo. We don't love him. God at all. We'd all we be going to church, but that's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we'd all be, what? what's his religion? Like some crazy He's like, yeah. Christian shit? I believe shit. it's the, yeah, R Russian yeah. Orthodox. That's what I heard. Russian Orthodox, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's some, well, that's whatever, I guess. I'm you know. down with that. And we'd all be hitting each other. I just think he lets that shit get in his way sometimes. Yeah. I think he lets his religion get in his way some get in the way sometimes, and that's the only. We'd all be hitting each other on the back with bra uh, branches. <laughs> you know what he does? His yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Insonics yeah. and shit. Wow. Are you sure? I'm gonna say, are you sure you aren't just like a male spa there? That doesn't sound like a church <laughs> to me. That sounds like a spa. <laughs> but apparently, right. apparently, uh, the the branches are like a really relaxing thing. Apparently, I have a couple. I know a couple of Russian people, and they. Oh yeah, look, really relaxed. They, they they talk about how it's it's getting beat over the back with branches when you're trying to relax and fucking I, I sauna. Guess, yeah. It's not my idea. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Um, that is it. I mean, there's nothing really else to say uh, about this card. It was a good, very entertaining card. Uh, Mayhem Miller's out. To be honest, no big surprise to me. I don't really Please. care. He's always been kind of like a cartoon character to me. I like the guy. I don't have a problem with him, but I never really took him as a serious threat. Uh, Nick Diaz would have destroyed him if they ever fought. Uh, Dan Hardy won. I love the fact that he won uh, just because I think he's an interesting guy. A great, you know, He's got international fans everywhere. Uh, you, you know, I like personality, so Dan Hardy won. He fought. What? He fought Dwayne fucking Ludwig, guys. Come on. Well, whatever. I don't know. I'm happy he won. I'm happy he won, but, like, come on. I mean, Dwayne Ludwig's a legend and all. But come um, on. I'll just say this. I picked Dwayne Ludwig to be. <laughs> uh, Did you really? Yeah, I honestly. With me. Uh -huh. I, my theme with it was uh, Dan Hardy has been saying from yeah I'm rejuvenated I'm learning the ground game I'm learning how to wrestle I'm honing my skills I've been training with Raleigh Westmore I've been training with Frank Mir his promises never being fulfilled so so when he came out and said it again saying I'm a different fighter I'm a new fighter I'm a reborn fighter I was just sort of like Dan I like you but Thank I've heard you. it all before mm -hmm. No, I did not fuck you, but I'd, I'd heard it all before, and I just, I, just I, I get why people jump off bandwagons, I don't condone it, but at the same time, it's just sort of like, as a fan, you can only be lied to and let down so many times, and 
It just hasn't been fighting the way he used to when he was in cage rage, using his knees and his tie clinch and his taekwondo. He doesn't do that anymore. And I liked him better. That's just me. Um, aside for that, definitely check out the Pro Wrestling Syndicate card within the next two days. Check it out on the I, um, the I pay per view. Uh, great mood of fighting. Uh, Ironforgedesign.com. Shout out to Bloodstay Lane, Mike Myers. <laughs> Uh, everybody who watches these vlogs, obviously, um, we're going to do better about, uh, doing these a little bit quicker. I'm supposed to have DBRC on, but, uh, you know, something happened with him. He was a little too busy. DBRC. Yeah. Uh, but we'll have him later on. No big deal. He hit me up. He let me know he couldn't make it. Uh, anything you want to add, Rob? Nothing, huh? I think you do. Oh, that's it. Irish goodbye. He, he hates, hates us. us. The Irish goodbye. He fucking there hates us. Uh, I wonder if that one think he liked us. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Shout out yes. to everybody. Shout out to IQ. Uh, oh. I will make a highlight of I. I will make a highlight of IQ wrestler vlogs with that with that one song that's on the radio. That boy band song. <laughs> it is. It's going to be epic, so look out for it, guys. Uh, so shout out to IQ Wrestling. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, we shall end this. Uh, comment at us on Twitter. Again, forgive us for all the um, technical difficulties. Uh, just a chance you take when sometimes you get people uh, from other countries. Chuck, we're done, man. UFC 147 coming up. Wandy. Can't wait for that fight. Talk to you guys later. Woo! Hope Wandy gets... Hope Wandy exacts some right. revenge. Uh, that's it, guys. Peace. Oh, peace. Shout out. Shout out. Bye, guys. Peace.